Hi, this is Justice. In this little mini series, I'm going to be talking about the paint modes. Now, the paint modes are these right here one, two, three, four, and five. You can see them labeled here. This one is paint right here, paint and mix, paint and blend, blend, and erase. Now, all of these have different icons that you can turn on or off to indicate which mode you're in. So this one is a solid circle, solid circle, dashed circle, dashed circle, and dotted circle. Dotted circle means you're racing. These mean you're blending and pushing the paint. These mean you're mostly just painting. If you don't want to see those different styles for the brush cursor, then you can turn that off right here. Show paint and blend mode in cursor shape. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, before we do that, I'm going to show you a setting here. In Preferences, at the very bottom of Tools, it's an option to adjust the Paint and Blend Mix Default Pressure Curves. So right here, this is for the entire program. So that means that every single tool that has these different modes, in the Brush Creator, you can adjust these settings here. This is what it restores back to. These are the default, and you can adjust these. Now up here, Threshold, this, and I'll have more information on these different modes and the curve editors inside the Brush Creator tutorial. This is how much you have to decrease pressure before it switches from painting back to mixing. From medium pressure, reduce 10% or whatever you have there, reduce 10% and it'll switch to mixing the paint. All right, so this is where you set those. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the actual modes here We'll go through these first five, and then we'll do these next seven in the next video. Quick math, all right. Okay, so now I have pigments turned on, and some of these we're going to do pigments off, but keep in mind right here, this option, use pigments, is turned on, and that's giving some extra color, saturation, blending, and uh, mixing abilities to what I'm doing. So we're gonna start here with paint and mix number two. Go right here, I have a phthalo blue, and push through these colors. And then we're gonna go up here to the top and use paint mode number one. That same color. So the first thing I want to point out here is in paint, this color over here is staying exactly the same as the starting color. We've transitioned through some colors and nothing has been picked up. Down here, you can see that some of this green, some of this red has been picked up as we're transitioning through the colors. So there's a little bit of mixing going on as we paint through these different colors. Now, using paint and mix, if I go here and very light pressure, go across the tops of this paint, you can see that we're getting a combination of painting and color mixing. Now, if we do the same thing with paint mode here at the top, we're retaining that same blue color and we're not pulling any color into the brush from what's on the canvas. Now down here in paint and mix, we use light pressure. You're going to see this is mixing into the canvas texture. This is filling in the little creases, the little cracks. And then if we go up here and use just paint, this is going to stay more on the surface of the canvas. You're not going to see that. Uh, mixing in or filling in the same way that you do with the paint and mix mode. Now when we get to the third mode, this is paint and blend, we're going to see something very different. So we're going to start over here, we're going to push through, and you can see that we have something different here than was in the previous versions of Rebel. With paint and blend, we can actually push the paint from the empty sections of the canvas, nudge it over, smudge it over. This is going to give us the ability to do a range of different things with this paint and blend mode. Okay, so I can pull the colors out with light pressure. Here you can see with heavy pressure, I'm going to add paint. And again, I can blend it out if I'm mixing colors. I can do this 
really nicely with this brush by pushing the colors around and pushing them into the canvas. Really beautiful. All right, so this is Paint and Blend. We'll look at number four, which is just Blend. This one doesn't have any paint information on it. So if I push through here, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be moving this paint around. This is a great tool to use if you're trying to mix color. As you can see, the colors are beautiful. Again, pigments turned on. And if I push hard, there's not gonna be any color here. Now, there is a mode inside of Preferences that I can select, which is select last paintbrush when color is picked from palette. So what that's gonna do, I have no color information here. So if I go over here and choose Oxidide of Chromium, this is going to switch to a mode that has painting available. So I can paint now without having to do that manually. This will do this intelligently for me and help me skip that step. All right, and let's look at number five. This one I think is so important and should be in every single drawing program. I love this. We're gonna use number five. Again, you can see the dotted circle all the way around. And this is just going to allow me to erase with the brush that I have selected. I don't know why this is not in other programs or why people don't do this, but this is such a great way to work. Uh, you can use light pressure and erase just gently or heavy pressure and cut straight through the paint. Now, I want to point out, if you don't like the way that some of these modes work, you can also change these directly inside of the brush creator. I want to show that to you right here, right now. So we're going to go up to the top. You can see shape and grain. Underneath that, we have pressure. And you can see the different paint modes right here. Now, I've adjusted this one specifically in this brush. We're going to undock this. And I've set this. You can see this is our default. I'm going to drag down and drag down to make those nodes disappear. Now I have a very high mix and then the default painting option. Let's apply a little bit of a curve to this and let's go ahead and close this and take a look at how this behaves differently. I want to point out a difference between the mixing abilities and the blending abilities inside of these different modes so that those are defined clearly. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to hide the brush creator. And now paint mode number two, paint and mix. What we're going to do is we're going to paint here. And now I should be able with light pressure, I should be able to mix this. And you should see this mixing. And it's blending into the background. I know I'm using those words interchangeably a little bit, but we're really just defining them here inside the program. All right, so here, with very light pressure, I am still adding paint. There is no smudging going on. So the paint is staying in the, in the same spot on the canvas and it's dispersing from there into the deeper parts of the textures. All right, now in number three, paint and blend, what you're gonna see is we have this ability that I mentioned before of pushing the paint so here I can push the paint, whereas in number two, there is no ability to push the paint. The paint just stays where it is and it blends outward. Number three, we can push. All right, guys, that is the five painting modes. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about the multicolor brush, the dirty brush, the combination of the two, and we're gonna be talking about the different modes inside of watercolors, the different blending modes, transparent, semi-transparent, opaque, and pigments, which is a combination of a whole bunch of different things that creates this beautiful color mixing that you see. All right, stay tuned for the next video, and thank you for watching.